Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my craft room. And this afternoon, I am going to show you how to make this adorable, they call it a joy fold card um, for Mother's Day. So basically to show you, this is featuring the Cosette collection from Close to My Heart. Um, the paper, I love the colors in this. Along with this is from the images here are from the Cosette card making. Um, stamp set and thin cuts and so basically the fold is this piece folds up this piece folds out so it's just kind of a fun simple card to make it's really not that hard I'm going to walk you through it how to do it today and if you um, miss the directions or sizes there as always I will have a um, link to my blog post on this in um, with the video and um, there'll also be a link to the downloadable PDF on the blog that you that will have um, additional pictures as well as all of the cutting sizes and directions that we need to create this on your own. Um, and it's a great one that you can reproduce again and again and again. So um, let's just get started. So in terms of materials, move this card out of the way, you're going to need some cardstock. You're going to need, of course, I use the Close to My Heart um, cards and envelopes value pack. So I'm using this as my base card. So you're going to have whatever it is you're going to have for your base card. Then you're going to have your um, next layer up. You're going to need some cardstock for that. Then I do an additional matte layer just because I like the additional colors. You can, your matte layer, then your fold folded piece then some pattern paper to decorate, and then some white cardstock um, or whatever color, oops, sorry, I'm banging my tripod here, um, whatever you want for your stamping or for and for your sentiments pieces. So this is really what you need for paper. Let's put this aside. And what you're gonna need for tools is 12 inch trimmer. And if you have a scoring blade for it, otherwise um, use a scoring platform there's that and then um you know definitely recommend having a bone folder good adhesive your scissors i use a very strong adhesive when i'm adhering the folded part to my card just for some additional just stability to it um i decorated the front of this this is kind of an optional you could do a square piece and just stamp on that I die cut this oval. It, the, this all comes from this Cosette card making um, stamp set with thin cuts. You have the oval. There's also this kind of window and these flower designs. And you could die cut these out. So I did this on some um, white daisy cardstock. I stamped it in with um, the intense black inks. And then I colored it in using watercolor pencils and a water brush and then finished it off with some diamond stickles. So let's get started on this. So what we're gonna do is we're going to cut our cardstock. So what you're gonna need for the base part of the card, you're gonna need your two base pieces, your base layer. If you're not using the Close to My Heart card bases, um, this would be the color of the your base card. So your... Um, eight and a half by five yeah eight and a half by five and a half piece of cardstock you fold in half into an a2 card a2 a2 card size then your next layer now of course these are four and a quarter by five and a half the next layer are you going to need two pieces for this these are um four by five and a quarter then your decorative layers these are um three and three quarters by five. So that's for the base card. Then for your folded part, you're going to need a, one your piece cardstock that is three inches wide by eight inches tall. You're going to need two pieces that are two and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And then your final white for your journaling, for your stamping, is going to be two and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I'm going to put these aside for now. Let's work on our base, but first we need to do some diagonal cuts. So I'm going to put aside one of each of these, and I am going to do my diagonal cuts on here. I'm also going to diagonally cut my card base. So pull out my trimmer. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to diagonally cut. So your card base, you're going to want to score it and fold it in half into your card shape. You're going to cut, every cut is going to be from the top left to the bottom right. So we're going to start with the card front of my card base. Just get this lined up. And that's my scrap. So there's the, there's one, there's the start. Then my next layer, again, top left to bottom right. Get this lined up. And next layer. So I'm going to repeat this on each of the three layers that I have. And like I said, if you're using a different cardstock for your card base, no worries. You'll just have two layers on top of your card base, your base card. And then my last layer being my pattern paper. Put my scraps aside. So there's my pieces. And then while I have my trimmer out, I am going to do my scoring, which is, I'm only really scoring this piece. So this is a three inches by, yes, three inches by eight inches. So I'm just going to score this at four inches. And then now I can put away, I'm just going to move this off to the side, get it out of my way. So I have more room to work. I'm going to fold this. My bone folder. Okay, so let's start assembling our layers. So we'll start with my this is mulberry. I love this color. It's such a wonderful soft purplish pink color. Start with this on the inside. Then my toffee. I think toffee has been one of my go-to colors that I've used quite a lot in the five years now that I've been with Close to My Heart. I really love the soft brown Next layer. and then my Cosette pattern paper. Oh, you guys are lucky. I just ran out. I'm going to need to put a new shelf. This is an older trimmer and I didn't even realize I was running that low. So I am going to grab different adhesive. So bear with me. <laughs> Ran out of adhesive mid video. Well, of course, you know, things happen. So I'm gonna put this in. Things happen, you know, nothing ever goes completely the way we plan it. Then flip it over to the front. And I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna start with my mulberry layer. Oh, I always do the Angel Policy stamp, and this is just because of me being a close to my heart maker, and I always do that before I even start to assemble the card, because I've had times I've stamped that on the back of a card, tried to stamp it on the back of a card that I've made, and with the layers, it ends up kind of not coming out the best, so that's just my little habit. So I'm going to put my next layer in here, just wiggle it in, and then my last layer... And there we go. This comes together pretty quickly. So there's my start of my card. Now I'm gonna work on my folded pieces. So I've got my two pieces of coffee here. I'm gonna put one on the inside. This is gonna be for my journaling. And then I'm gonna put a piece of white daisy on top of that. In writing my wishes on the inside of the card and then put this other piece of toffee on the front okay now you could this is where you could put this other piece of white daisy here and stamp on it or whatever I just happened to decide to use the oval from the Cosette card making stamp set. Then I die cut and I colored this in. I'm adhering it with a little bit of um, 3D foam tape just to give it a little bit of a lift. I'm going to put that right there. Then what I'm going to do, I am going to put some of our sticky tape, our, our adhesive tape on the back because I just like it. I tend to do this with folded 
paper projects, I like to use a little bit of a stronger tape than regular adhesive on them when I adhere them to anything, just out of habit. You could probably use your regular adhesive, but I'm a little, I'm a stickler when it comes to that, I, I would say. So, and then this, one more piece. Get this done. So I just put this on the back. Now what I'm gonna do with this is I always try to kind of make sure I've got things completely lined up before I adhere them. So what I've done with this when I've been putting this together is I will fold. So notice I'm not touching the back of the card yet. I am gonna slowly fold this in because I really wanna make sure I center this fold piece because as soon as this touches, it's going to adhere. So I wanna make sure it's centered down probably about three quarters of an inch from the top. And now I'm gonna press down, open it up, press down again, and there it is. Really simple card, fun way to do a different kind of fold to your card to um, share some joy, send some wonderful sentiments to the people we love. I really hope you guys like this card. And like I said, look for the more explicit directions, sizes, etc. on my blog post, and there'll be a downloadable PDF for you to have for yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again when I'm up in my craft room.